Hello there and welcome to Complete Games and we continue with my challenge to complete the full Federation armor suit skin set and unlock a Shadow Main Chibi. For part two we're going to be going to get the Federation armor skin for the pants and we're going to be unlocking some of Rockwell's lore and glitches on the Scorched Earth map. So I've just brought an old friend back, we of course got Devil who was the first RG we managed to tame when we did the complete series on Scorched Earth. But for this one, we're going to head out towards the Blue Obelisk. So here's the coordinates, not that you really need them. Just coming out towards the mountain. And the Blue Obelisk is behind us. Doesn't seem to be going off. Ah, there we go. Well now, this is amusing. Seems there's still some connection to that confounding woman's puppet, even outside of our shared hallucination. And what do I spy through this oversized eye but that miserable desert arc? Strange. How small it all looks now. Okay, so that's the first glitch from Rockwell there. And of course, to do this, you just need to get your HLNA skin out. And uh, it just took a while for that one to come up, but I'm just back at the tree where we dropped. And just follow the pathway up towards the mountain and it will trigger it. Okay, so you can see in the distance, that's the ruins of Nosti. If you're going to be doing the cave right in front of us, we've just got these small ruins here and uh, there is a note down at the bottom there. We just need to come behind the rocks here. And what's going on with these Lystros? Hey, let me give you a hand. Ooh, just became free. Did you see that? Devil, magic. You know, once upon a time, the Lystrosaurus dominated planet Earth, representing 95% of the species that walked planet Earth in the early Triassic period. And you can see why when you only have to punch them and they multiply like gremlins. But uh, yeah. Ah, here we go, here we go. Peekaboo, I see you. Hmm. Yeah, oh, I really should have saved that for later when you reach the place with the wheel eyes. Ah, I only had the two back when I explored this place as Sir Edmund Rockwell. I might have been happy to wander these arcs forever, uncovering their secrets. But we all have to leave the cradle eventually. Hmm, interesting. I can't think of anything in the previous lore he's referencing there, so he's probably talking about Genesis Part 2. And when you reach him there, because of all the tentacles and the eyes, we need to head on over for the third note, which is down at the World Scar near the bridge. Okay, so we're just over at the Wyvern Trench. This is pretty much the centre of it and the biggest bridge. There is a couple of bridges. But I'll just pull the coordinates up for you as well. There we go. And of course, this is where we are on the map. And we'll just get HLN8. And I'll just give it a second this time. Let's just see if we just wait and it will trigger it. There we go. What a disappointment this place was. All that effort to escape that first arc, only to wind up in this blasted wasteland. Still, this is where I gave a name to the precious metal that set me on my path to godhood. Edmundium. Uh, I am looking forward to David Tennant playing Rockwell. I think he's going to make a great villain. And, uh, of course... Edmundium, or Element as we know it. But uh, we need to head on towards the Red Obelisk for Note 4. Okay, just here should do fine. Again, 
Same as with the first note, really. Just next to the red obelisk coming up the slopes towards the mountain. Here's my coordinates, and again on the map. But yeah, just outside the red obelisk. This time we'll just give it a second, see if it triggers. Just go up here slightly, there's a rock golem over there, so I don't want to get too close, but... Uh, Gallimimus with brain worms, trying to get up the mountain. But should trigger somewhere around here, let's just go back where we was. There's two sort of pathways, one's leading over in this direction. Ah, oh, there we go. There's still something of her lingering in this device. How remarkable. It is true that I underestimated the late Helena Walker. I'd never have guessed she had it in her to find her own way to ascend. So very resourceful she proved to be. And yet, still, she was unable to appreciate my grand design. So that's note 4 triggered from the back of the red obelisk and of course we did the first one at the blue obelisk but to finish off with the fifth and final note we need to head towards the green that's just at the back there as well. And here we are we're just out at the back of the green obelisk and as you can see I've just got my Rex army there so there's this little group of rocks just near the water and this is where we trigger the fifth and final note. And of course, we recently just defeated the Manticore and completed Scorched Earth. And I will be moving on to Aberration. I know I get a lot of questions about when am I going to be starting it. And it's soon, we're going to be starting Aberration soon. But right now, it's all about Genesis 2. And I need my Shadow Main Chibi. Where are you? There we go. This little glowing sprite seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Out of all the survivors stock in America, well, you seem capable enough specimen. Not sure I understand the fascination. What makes you so special? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the fifth and final note from Rockwell. And I did see that it triggered the exosuit skin. So let's get back to base and show off the new exosuit pants. So that's part two of our challenge to complete a full set of the Federation armor suit skins. And of course, we want to get that Shadow Main Chibi. If you're taking part in this challenge yourself, then you need to head out to the back of all three of the obelisks. You need to go to them three rocks near the ruins of Nosti. And of course, you need to head out towards the World Scar and the biggest bridge there in the middle. We of course need to continue and get that chess piece, so we're gonna head on over to Aberration. So until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya.